get real in the Europa League. It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? It's Manchester United. They face Paris Saint-Germain, and it's coming up live here on EA TV. And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. It's Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, this has everything, doesn't it? Two good teams, some top-class players, and a couple of excellent coaches. What a final this should be. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Fabian in central midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Casemiro. Now Casemiro. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, he's their leading goal scorer because his space awareness in tight areas is so good. He just has that knack of knowing where the ball will drop. And I'm not sure you can teach that. Fernandes must be. They take the lead. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, he has to get his team plan again. This isn't going to plan. Underway once more. And it's going to be interesting to see whether or not PSG can articulate an appropriate reply. Fabian. Zaire Emery. Ferreira. Oh, good vision. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So, a level contest, 1-1. Bruno Fernandes has it. Lisandro Martinez. Now moving the ball impressively here. Good through ball. Bruno Fernandes, can he put them in front? And it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Favouring the short one. Casemiro. Can he put it away?
Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Now racing past his man. Ferreira. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Anthony. Diogo Dallo. And it's with Amrabat. Poilund. PSG doing well to regain possession. Marquinhos. Now with Akini. Now well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. The second half underway, United with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Now, options are plenty. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And with that, the attack fizzles out. An example of how to press. Hakimi. Zaire Emery. Here's Marquinhos. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And it's gone over the line. Sofian Amrabat. A super tackle and they've won possession. Ferreira. Here's Marquinhos. Nuno Menge. Good work to win the ball back by United. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Substitution it is for PSG. Martinez. Effective pass, a good and fair challenge.
Warren Zaire Emery. 15 minutes left for play. Marco Asensio. Really good interception. Effective press. Lisandro Martinez. Here's Juan Bisaka. Really clever pressing. PSG simply must be opportunistic with time not on their side. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, they've certainly given it a go in the final stages, but PSG have just fallen short, haven't they? And they're running out of time here. It's not been their day. Yes, in the mood to exert more pressure. Zaire Emery. And snuffing out the danger. Evans. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Anthony. Difficult to stop him. Bruno Fernandes has it. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well-deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. And that is the next order of business. The walk up the ramp towards the Europa League trophy. Well, you have to say it's a great achievement for the club and all these players. For a captain, it's a moment you do not take for granted. The Europa League winners. They put so much into this campaign and now they have their reward. Now they can go and celebrate with their fans. They've been a big part of it, and they deserve to see that come.